While Derek Chauvin was in a correctional facility awaiting his trial for his murder of George Floyd, the superintendent of said correctional facility did not allow any correctional officers of color to guard Chauvin. How did that work out? Well, just last month, a $1.5 million lawsuit was settled for the eight correctional officers of color who were not allowed to guard Chauvin, interact with Chauvin, or even be on the same floor as Chauvin. The suit says that a segregation order was given by the superintendent of the facility named Steve Lydon. Steve Lydon responded and said, out of care and concern and without the comfort of time, I made the decision to limit exposure to employees of color to a murder suspect who could potentially aggravate those feelings. Wow. Well, if Steve really cared about the feelings of people of color, he probably wouldn't be working for an institution that's complicit in modern day slave labor and disproportionately incarcerates people of color all the time. He would also know that just because Chauvin can't do his job doesn't mean that the people that Chauvin has targeted and murdered for decades cannot do theirs.